Howdy and welcome back to another Bevy video. Today we are celebrating the release of Bevy 0.11 and I'm going to cover the big changes in my plans for the next cycle. First up, let's look at all the cool changes in Bevy. We have a ton of new graphics improvements like always, and a lot of these are targeting 3D applications. I don't usually make high-end 3D apps, so these aren't that appealing to me, but it shows the hard work the rendering team has done and the good foundations they have built. We also have web GPU support now, which again isn't really a selling point for me, but a lot of people love it, so here it is. Finally, we got a new setup for shaders, which promises to make them a bit less magical and more debuggable, so I'm excited to dive into that going forward. So far, I've done a PR to update Bevy ECS tile map, and I did a lot of work with the new shaders there, and I wasn't too impressed with it, but we'll see if it grows on me with time and better tooling. Now on to some of the features that I really like. We got a couple of new UI toys like borders and a grid layout. Now we have more options for laying out our UI setups, and I have faith that UI is on track to getting a ton of improvements this version. I believe Cart has even said that it's a priority for him as they build toward an editor-ready UI solution. I also even got my own PR mentioned in the news for the first time, because I added Texture Atlas sprite support in the same way that I brainstormed about in my rendering demystified video. Now for the really big change that I'm super excited about, new scheduling. I've been working with the new scheduling systems for a while now for personal projects, and I love these changes. Now everything is unified under add systems and add plugins, and it's super clear exactly which group everything is in. At the low cost of having to always specify update, we now have a unified way of adding systems to the app, and it's much cleaner than the old solution. Another feature I'm excited to try out is Gizmos. We now have quick and dirty debug rendering built into the engine. This should make it real easy to check tons of things relating to the spatial nature of games, and this will probably be something that I use more than print lines going forward. Finally, let's rapid fire through some of the minor changes. First, audio is going to be a little bit nicer in this version. It's still not perfect, but it's a slow iteration toward the magical audio solution. We also have more support being added for scenes, which are still a little bit underdone in my opinion, but the work seems to indicate that they'll be critical for the editor development, and it'll be nice to see them getting some love. We also have some nice ECS additions like Entity Ref and Has Component, which I'm excited to play with, and I have a few ideas about using them to implement saving systems for my own projects. Finally, we have a default font, a built-in screenshotting tool, and tons of more low-level improvements for engine developers. Also, a whole bunch of new examples to show off all of the cool features of the engine. Overall, I think this is a great update, and I'm excited to get started working with it. For my personal plans, I'm currently still trying to hunt for jobs, and it's been a brutal process. I have some hope for bevy-related work, but the jobs are rare and competitive, so we'll see. I'm also moving in the next week, so life's going to be a little bit chaotic for me. But my main goal for this version of Bevy is to make another From Scratch intro series. It's been a while since I've made one of these, but I think they're the most important videos that I make, because they keep new people able to learn Bevy and enter the ecosystem. I'm once again hoping for a 10-ish part series on an interesting 2D game. After that, I'm open to trying out some new things, and we'll see where Bevy takes us. I hope you're enjoying the newest version of Bevy, and I hope you subscribe so you can follow along with me as it blossoms into a great engine. As always, thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons, and thank you for watching.